Hello everyone, this is Miss Normally, and it's going to be my first commentary doing Battlefield Bad Company 2 online multiplayer. And this is Laguna Presa. I am playing Team Deathmatch, and this is going to be the first time I've actually done this. And what you're seeing here is footage from uh, very early, um, very early on in me playing it. So, this is really new for me. I <clears throat> and haven't really played um, online. My online experience is very, very limited. And in the stuff that I have played in the past online, it was never really uh, th these types of games. So, nothing that required a ton of uh, agility. Um, because in the past, I you know, I played stuff like WoW. So, yeah, you kind of had to be quick. But not to the point where, um, you know, a tad bit of lag would get you. But I feel like in games like this, if you're messing up and you, you don't really have that edge, then you are going to do a lot worse than you normally would if you, you know, your internet was up to speed. So, one of the things that I'm liking about uh, Battlefield in particular, especially the online multiplayer, is that you've really got to work with your team, not necessarily for deathmatch, of course, but um, when you're playing uh, Rush or Conquest, which I am terrible at right now, because I've really only played it maybe once or twice, don't know what I'm doing, uh, I'm not playing with friends really, so it's kind of hard to coordinate, and until I get the hang of things, it's going to be really tough to play uh, those sorts of matches with people that... Um, with people I don't know. And I kind of get the gist of what you're supposed to do, but I'm still trying to work that out. So here, um, I I can pretty much succeed, at least with, you know, not having to worry about particular objectives other than just to kill people. And I really enjoy it. And I'm, I hate to say it, but I think I'm kind of getting addicted to uh, the online multiplayer here, especially uh, the deathmatch, because... You know, when you're doing well, there's nothing that makes you feel better than knowing you're a chick and probably playing with a bunch of, of guys and, and you're beating them. And for me, it's all, you know, obviously it's going to be a very short period of time because I'm not that good at it, but uh, it's, it makes me laugh, you know, because this for me is like a very casual kind of deal. And, you know, I mean, I die just as many times as I, you know, kill kill people, but... It makes me feel good to know that I'm not as awful as some of the people I'm playing with. Uh, and one of the things that, uh, the only thing really I've done so far is I'm playing as a medic. And I really enjoy it. I like it a lot. Um, I love, because see, you know, like I said, since I am at a huge disadvantage and I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 like everybody else. And I know the games are, are different, but of course it helps to have that background in a first person shooter um, so basically what I try and do or at least what I've been trying to do is play as a medic um, get a lot of points for just kinda sticking around um, my, my squad and reviving people when they need it and um, spotting is, is the biggest thing that I've been working on and if I can and sometimes it doesn't work I don't know if it's just me or if I'm not you know aiming at them just right but some of the time I can't, um, oh, and that's another thing I do. I don't know if you just saw that or if this is going to sync up or not. But sometimes, I, you know, if I'm not quick enough, I'll, like, try and stab my own squad member, you know, before I see that they're uh, on my team. Because, I mean, you might, it's not like I'm going to hurt them. I'm not playing hardcore or anything. Um, but anyway, what, what was I saying before? Oh, about spotting. I pretty much try and just spot as much as I can, even if it's obvious, like where the person is and there are a ton of people around them. I'm trying to pick up those spot bonuses and trying to pick up uh, my med bonuses from drop-in packs. And I don't even, I can't even tell. Like, I'm so new at this and so new at playing online that I'm not even really sure when somebody me needs, um needs a meta pack or anything like that so what I try and do is 
when I will like spawn on top of a snipe, sniper that's been pretty stationary for a while. And, you know, it depends on the match, but sometimes, you know, you'll get a pretty good camping spot. And I'm not a huge fan of camping. I'll just say that right now because I think it's kind of... Um, it, it's not necessarily going to hurt your... Um, or it's not necessarily going to help your score that much. And it really shouldn't be about that. I mean, in my opinion, you could be out helping people a lot more if you're moving around a little bit than kind of chickening out and hanging back and, um, you know, camping somewhere. Um, but pretty much what I'll do is I'll spawn on top of snipers and then drop a pack. And whether they need it or not, if somebody spots them... Um, and and sees them up there and starts shooting at them if they're any good or if they're quick enough and they end up getting a little bit of damage but they still take the guy out then maybe I'm getting some points for that pack and I'll do that a lot and then if or obviously if there's like a building a bunch of my guys are, are camped up in I'll I'll drop some packs up there and there doesn't really seem to be a lot of cooldown on that kind of stuff so it it's not that big of a deal for me to just kind of throw them out. But one of the things, too, that, that kind of sucks for me, and, and it's not a big deal, and I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier in this commentary about the lag, is that uh, when I'm throwing out my packs, sometimes it kind of looks like I'm throwing two out. Maybe that's the way it is, but I'm pretty sure that's just my internet being kind of crappy. So, so far, I've only been dropped a couple times. Uh, but... Overall, it's been a success. I mean, I'm really enjoying playing the game, and I've played with some of my friends. I think right now, at the time that I recorded this footage, I was probably only a level 2 or 3. Now, I believe I'm at a 5. So, I haven't really been able to play that much. I, you know, I got work, I got school. I'm a really, really tremendously busy uh, in these past couple weeks. The school finals actually start next week. Um, but... As, as much as I can, I'm going to play. And I actually played with a guy who had added me from YouTube just last night. And we played some, I think it was Rush. And I just, oh, I was so awful at it. But I'm going to hopefully continue to play and give you guys some interesting um, stuff to look at. Oh, and another thing that I appreciate, though, is when I knife somebody in the face or something, I, I get their dog tags. And that makes me happy. Uh, so th that's a perk that I'm really enjoying <laughs> with this game. Because, I, I, I mean, like I, if anybody watched my Left 4 Dead commentary, you know how much I love Melee. And one of my favorite things to do, and I'm sure it probably all brings joy to your hearts, when you walk up on a guy who's just not paying any attention at all and knife him in the back. Or my personal favorite, of course, is knifing people in the face. Because they, you know, they should see that one coming. Um, but... Anyway, it's it's the little things in life that make you happy, right? Uh, and another thing I love about this game, too, is the unlocks. And the fact that you've got to unlock it, but that you're not at a complete disadvantage if you don't get it unlocked right away. I thought the starting guns for this were really quite, um, I don't know. I thought they were pretty crappy, but... You know, I'm dealing with it, and I'm, I'm living with it. And as I'm going on, I feel like it's a really reasonable rate that you get new things, and you get power-ups, and you can spec in, and all that kind of thing. Um, but overall, just to kind of wrap this up, I, I didn't think I would ever get 10 minutes or 9 and a half minutes or whatever commentary out of this. But it turns out like I got a lot to say about it. And you can see here, I came in, um, my, squ my squad came in second place. I came in second place. I only got 15 kills. But for me, that's pretty good. I, I mean, I never play these kinds of games. And like I said, hopefully I'm going to get better. You're going to watch me get better at it. And uh, I'm going to give you some commentary and some footage worth watching. So stay tuned in. Um, c keep up with my YouTube page. I know I'm kind of slow getting these videos up, but I'm going to do as much as I can for you. And I really appreciate you watching, and especially you guys uh, being subscribed to me and all your support. So keep coming back. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, and I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys.